Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500 E-mini futures daily chart. And what we're seeing this morning, after all the Fed fireworks, and, uh, you know, essentially what happened was we gave up um, – we gave up some ground off the highs. We pushed as low as 88 quarter on Tuesday. Yesterday we came in, traded as low as 90 half, um, then made a nice little run up to the 21, uh, 2106, 2107 area after the Fed number had come out, uh, and that number was sold. Uh, in the overnight in Globex, we tested the middle band. So now the bulls are essentially in must perform. We've already come all the way back down to middle band. Middle band now, which comes in at 90 half, must hold. Middle band must hold all day. They have to close above it. They would do themselves well to get back the area of the... Um, of the FOMC announcement, which is around 2100 half, and that also coincides with the daily pivot at 2133, as well as the weekly pivot up at 210370. If they can't get those major levels back, then we'll see one of two things. Either this bounce off of the middle band is just that, it's a bounce, and the bears can come in at those larger levels, sell it off, and take it lower. Or, we're going to get locked up into another range trade through the end of the week between 2103, 2104, and 2090. So that's a couple things I'm looking at right now. They're currently testing 2099. We're pushing back a little bit, back down to, to 96 half, 96.75. Um, you know, we'll have to see. There, you know, we had some economic news at 8.30. We got more at, at 945. Um, so we'll have to see how that starts to play into the volatility of the market. The last two sessions have been fantastic trading sessions. Nice moves down, nice moves up in, in 10 handle chunks. And for anybody that trades the markets intraday, that's exactly the environment that you want. Um, it's more difficult to get a longer term footing on the market when it's doing this. Although you have an opportunity down there with, with the test of the middle band. But... Make no mistake, these are not, you know, the, the bulls are not what they were a couple of years ago. We didn't go up, you know, 20 on, on, the, on the FOMC announcement just because words came out of their mouth. And that's interesting to me because by taking the calendar language out of the FOMC statement, it appears that the Fed is in no rush at all to raise rates. So you would have expected the market to go up, to close on highs, and that we be in the process of starting a new leg higher. That's not happening. We continue to fail at key levels, and we continue to pull back and hold key levels. Neither side can finish. Bulls can't finish with another leg up, Bears can't finish with another leg down. And yes, I understand that on Monday we made new all-time highs, but they were immediately rejected, and they gave up several key levels on the way down, and they haven't demonstrated any ability to get those levels back. Even with, you know, you had the Iranian sh ship seizure news, you had a you had full-on price rejection there, and they couldn't follow it up. We came right back down, and we're back down again. So very two-sided market. Indicative to me of an underlying character change in the market from a macro uptrend to more of a two-sided market. We don't, you, you're not, we're not going to go from up all the time every day to down all the time every day. It just that, that doesn't work that way. But we are in a much more two-sided market than we have seen in the last couple of years. The bulls are going to have their moments. The bears are going to have their moments. And if you're a trader, this is exactly the kind of environment that you wait for. All right, everybody have a good one. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.